Welcome to East Coast Healthcare Reviews today. I got another beer review. This is Sierra Nevada. Hazy little thing. And it is 6.7% alcohol by volume. Got Beer Advocate pulled up here. So Beer Advocate score on this one. 89 for very good style. It's a New England style IPA. ABV 6.7% from Sierra Nevada Brewing Co. Out of California, United States. Availability says year round. Notes it says we're constantly brewing. New IPAs looking for bold, hot flavor. With this beer, our brewers thought it was so good that we decided to serve it straight from the tanks. Unfiltered, unprocessed, and raw to let all the fruit forward hop flavors shine. The result was a hazy beer with modest bitterness and intense hop character. To some, making an unfiltered hop bomb may seem crazy, but to us, it's a hazy little thing called IPA. It says bittering hops, magnum, finishing hops, citra, comet, simcoe, eldorado, mosaic, malt, two roll pale, Munich, oats, and wheat. So I got liniment glass here. I'm gonna crack this open, pour it into the glass. Go over the color with you guys. So color of the beer. Nice hazy orange color. There's some uh, some uh, residue in there. See some little flowies in there. Um, not too much, not too many bubbles. Looks decently carbonated. Nice foamy white head. About like a finger and a half lacing. Um, finger and a half ahead. Looks like it's gonna leave a nice lacing on the glass. Let's go for the aroma. With this one, you do get a lot of the uh, fruity aroma, so you get the, so you get like citrus, so you get like orange, tangerine, a little bit of lemon. Nice breadiness. A little bit of a sweet maltiness to it. Just a little bit of like a, uh, a little bit of like a pineapple mango, so a little bit of a tropical aroma to it, but more fruity, so more more of the citrus fruity aspect to it. Decent amount of hops, not too much hops. The fruitiness kind of covers up that hop aroma. It smells pretty good. It smells like a New England style IPA. Let's go for a taste. So with this one, definitely more of a fruity IPA more of a fruity New England style IPA so you get a lot of the citrus a little bit of breadiness a sweetness to it as well maybe a little bit of caramel malt I really like the amount of breadiness I'm getting from this it actually has a very crisp and clean finish not much hops on the aroma more of a lingering fruity flavor rather than uh, that piney hop resin. Um, so you get a little bit of the hops, but it's not too much. The hops kind of die off on the finish. Um, but you are left with, like I said, that fruity aspect to it. A little tropical on the flavor as well. Pineapple, mango, papaya, grapefruit. But yeah, more so orange tangerine fruitiness carbonation definitely seems like medium to high it's definitely tastes like it's got some good carbonation to it um mouth feels about light to medium it's not too thick on the mouth feel for a uh, ipa like most new england style ipa very juicy very flavorful on the uh, fruity tropical aspect to it, a little bit more fruity than tropical, um, but definitely a lot more fruit and tropical flavors rather than the hops. A um, little bit of bitterness on the finish, but it is does finish very crisp and clean. For an IPA, it's actually very crushable. 6.7% ABV, decent ABV. Can't taste the ABV at all. Um, fruitiness, tropical notes, definitely cover up the ABV along with that little bit of that piney hop finish. Very good, very juicy. 
very flavorful. Um, this one's pretty good. Um, if I want a New England style IPA that I could crush, this would definitely be one of them. Um, decently priced too. I believe it's like nine bucks for a six pack. Right around the same price as uh, Sierra Nevada's usual beers. Not as fruity and tropical as other IPAs I've had, but it definitely is very good. Like compared to the Bad Squatch, Bad Squatch was way more juicy with the tropical flavor. This is a lot more on the fruity, citrusy side. Um, if you're someone who likes that, um, this would be a good beer for you to check out. Like I said, I like the amount of breadiness it's got to it. Nice, decent amount of sweetness. I'm guessing there's a little bit of caramel malt in there. There's a caramel malt. Most Sierra Nevada beers have a decent amount of caramel malt to them. Um. Yeah, other people saying caramel malt. I thought I was tasting it. Guess I'm not wrong. But yeah, usually with Sierra Nevada, you get a decent amount of caramel malt, so you get that nice sweetness. You get a nice uh, brightness to it, so you get that sweet malt backbone. Usually a really crisp and clean finish. Um, they do very well with their hops, and the beer is definitely very well balanced. Like I said, if you want something more tropical on the New England style IPA, this one might not hit it for you. But if you like the fruity, citrusy aspect of the IPAs, the New England style IPAs, you'll probably go crazy for this one. Very well priced, like I said. Um, for a rating, I'm gonna give this one a. I'm gonna give this one a eight out of ten. With that being said, the uh, the price is definitely affordable. So around nine bucks for a six pack, um, six point seven percent um, craft beer. That's actually a really good price. Um, I've seen some other New England style IPAs that get up there. In the, in the price range um, but this is very well priced usually Sierra Nevada has really good priced beers and um, like I said if you want to try a New England style IPA more of the fruity citrusy side it's a great one to check out so I'm gonna recommend it to you if you like that top that type of uh, New England style IPAs like I said it's actually pretty crushable for uh, IPA um, a lot of people when they think IPAs they think it's gonna be loaded with this bitterness these hops, New England style IPAs, usually more of like a creamier mouthfeel, more juicy, tropical, citrus, fruity flavors. And um, I think people, when they see IPA, they get a little scared and they don't want to try it. But if you're someone who wants to uh, kind of check out these IPAs, maybe you don't want something too bitter. You want something more juicy, like I said, more fruity, more flavorful. Um, then New England style IPA is definitely a great one to check out, especially this one. Um, if you want something a little bit more tropical, um, I would recommend the Bat Squatch New England style IPA by Rogue Company. That's probably one of my favorites. Um, yeah, this is good. Like I said, rating 8 out of 10, um, considering the price, availability. Sierra Nevada is pretty, uh, pretty popular. And they have a good distribution, so you can pretty much find this anywhere you go unless they don't sell Sierra Nevada products, which I'm pretty sure most liquor stores do. Um, and it's a year-round, so I'm sure you won't have too much trouble finding this. Maybe you'll have to shop around a little bit and find uh, um, some stores that do sell it. I believe I've seen these in the 19, it's like 19.2 ounce cans or something. So if you can't find a six-pack, grab one of those, try it out. It's even better. I think it's around like two bucks, no, three bucks. You know, like 270 280 something around there uh, which is even better because if you, it's something you haven't tried before um it's only three bucks and if you don't like it then you can just not drink it um but yeah i think uh a lot of people might enjoy this especially someone who doesn't normally drink ipas and uh yeah they have it is there any other liquor beers or ipas new england style ipas that you guys like to see on the channel Definitely leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Like and beer. Thanks for watching. Cheers.